Welcome back to the Chef for Color Cooking Program. Well, today we're going to show you how you can make spinach for your soup. Uh, if you're cooking stew, chicken, or whatever you like, you're cooking and it's wet, you can make some spinach and put it in it. You can, if you're making some curry, curry soup, you know what I mean? You can put it in lobster soup, you can make, put some spinach in it. Well, to make spinach, you need plain flour. Some people do use self rising flour. Well, I never did it before, but if you did it before, you can share it with me and I will definitely try it. Well, um, I got one and a half cups of plain flour inside of my little bit of bowl right here. Well, clean as you can see, broken right now. To make plain flour, you need a bowl and to need to wash your hand. Make sure your hand clean and really fresh and nice. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone outside love to say things fresh and nice. But anyway, um, I got put a little pinch of salt inside of it, just like that. A pinch of salt. Use a wooden spoon if you want to use your hand. You can use your hand. Use a wooden spoon. Cooperate the flour and the salt together inside of the bowl. And next, what you need to do, I got a glass of water right here. I'm, I don't think you're gonna take a whole glass of water, but. Take a little time and pour it inside of it, as I said before, one and a half cups of flour, and I'm using plain flour, guys. Take a little time and pour in the water inside of it, as you can see what I'm doing, because you don't want it to be spoiled. And you don't want it to be spoiled, dip your wooden spoon inside of the water. And just do a thing like this. As you can see what I'm doing right here. Because you don't want it to be spoiled. So you dip it in. And simple. Then welcome, you're gonna mess up your hand for about two minutes. Use a hand. And simple. Put it together like this. See, it didn't take all of the water. I still have roughly almost half cup left, half glass left. But as you can see, one being right here. So this is dumpling spinach. Yep, work it in. Cause you're not making a lot, you're just making a little spinach. Say you hot home and you're making some chicken soup, or beef soup, or red pea soup. You can put even cornmeal inside of it. This is one of the number one way. Or you can make your spinach for your soup. Lovely. So as you can see, oil come out really perfect. Then what you need to do, put it back inside of the bowl. Or if you got a, say you have a, like a food bag, like where you normally put food stuff in. Simple, put it in the bag like this. And put it right here and leave it for 10 minutes for it to get rest. That's the best way to make your dough for your soup for everything you like that's the best way make it rest for roughly 10 minutes lovely and nice so roughly 15 minutes now let's take it out take it from the bag I want to take it from the bag simple it feels so different you see it feel really totally different so guys what I want to simply say to you I'm gonna put this video I'm gonna put a link below. I'm cooking some oxtail, and the link gonna be below how to make your spinach for your oxtail. First of all, tear off a little piece like this. If it's too big, and roll it in your hand like this. Just like this. And this is the best way how to make spinach. If you wanna cook this by itself, what you need to do is simple. 
simple put on a pot on the stove and with some boiling water as you can see boiling water and put a pinch of salt inside of it and let the water boil up first then they make this and cook them for 15 minutes inside of the water and they come out really lovely so simple tear off a little piece and simple just roll it into your hand like this and that's your spinach for your soup for your curry for your chicken for anything you're making and your hot is wet you can make this and put it inside of it and cook them for 15 minutes 12 15 minutes is really good for it so as you can see how to make your spinach guys and i'm going to put the link below how to make how, how they look when they come out of the ox tail i'm going to put the link below that's you can click on that link when you subscribe to the channel and leave in your comments i'm going to put the link below that you can see the way how i make them so enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the youtube channel and leave your comments and this is the best way to make your dumpling spinach for your soup for ready for the thing you're making and this is from Chef Ricardo. Enjoy the recipe, guys. Bye-bye.